friends and welcome to a very special video. We're going to be recreating YouTubers horses. Now, of course, these are equestrian YouTubers and this was actually commented. Katie Hooper said, hi, can you do Cloudy from Harlow and Popcorn? I love them. That was on my recreating famous racehorses videos and I really like that idea. So I decided to pick eight equestrian YouTubers to redo their horses. So make sure to let me know in the comments which you thought I did best and which you thought I did the worst because they're not all going to be perfect. But I think I'm going to give it a go today so I'll tell you the youtubers as we go but first we'll just jump into creation hub horse creator now uh in honor of Katie uh I'm going to do popcorn first so popcorn is a Connemara he's a gelding I'm pretty sure the owner is Harlow Luna White or the White family and their channel has over or almost 300,000 subscribers which is nothing to sniff at so unfortunately there is no gelding option in Rival Stars so we're just going to have to go with Stallion now of course we're going to change the name to popcorn from here obviously the position doesn't matter I'm not actually going to be racing these horses however I do have to ask do you think it would be weird for me to do a video like breeding these youtubers horses together or do you think that that's kind of like a bit strange i haven't morally decided yet let me know your thoughts in the comments if you think that that's like strange or if it's fine because it's just a video game i'd like to know before i potentially do something quite strange so of course popcorn is a really lovely palomino now the first thing i'm going to do is get rid of this marking scheme so that i can actually see the palomino better now actually the color that's up there is close it's not quite right because uh popcorn does not have like darker legs so let's try and get rid of the gosh this scroll through does not work very well for me we've got that right so now to pick the color so we're looking for i mean that's close the uh i mean does actually have a darker muzzle but not quite as dark as that i'll keep that in mind definitely not that this is kind of close that was the one i picked before isn't it that's not bad, actually. The only thing is, is uh, the muzzle's a bit... He has, like, a grey sort of muzzle. I don't know if we're going to get better than that kind of first option. This is wrong. Popcorn doesn't have blue eyes. This isn't bad, actually. Yeah, actually, I might settle with this one. The colour's not perfect. Oh, wait, no. This, this is it, 100%. This is, yeah, th no, this is it. Okay, this is the color I'm going for. I think that's pretty accurate, actually. The mane and the tail could be lighter. But other than that, it's not bad. Now, Harlow, Harlo, I'm gonna keep calling Popcorn Harlow. Popcorn has like a really long kind of strip at the bottom of his nose and what looks like kind of a blotchy star. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I can have both, which makes me quite sad. Now, you can't usually see the star, so I think I'm gonna go for like the kind of snip there. Oh, I lied. There's literally that exact marking right there. Now that I'm looking at it, Popcorn looks a bit darker than that coat, but it's fine. Popcorn's very light when he's clipped, so that's what I'm just gonna go with. Now, he has quite interesting socks. So from what I could tell, let me try and orient myself. On the left side, there's sort of like just below the kind of fetlock, like this, the pastern. Yes, okay, this works. And now this right leg appears to be lower, almost like... You can't see it. We'll do half pastern. And for the back front legs, it goes up to the knee, sort of? Yeah, I'd say full sock. Yeah, full sock on like both side, probably. No, that's too low. We need a full sock for sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay, full sock. That's not too bad. The only major difference that I can kind of see is the muzzle being a little bit too light and his colors a little bit off. Also, the picture that I pulled up, he has a blanket on. There'll probably be more popping up on screen, but I can't see his body. I think he occasionally does have like really beautiful dapples, but I can't see that in the picture. So I'm, I think that's not bad. I think that's not bad at all. Okay, hopefully that's decent. So we're going to go ahead and save that. You can find him on the community creations if you can find him because it's quite difficult to find things on the community creations, which I always complain about. But that was popcorn. Maybe I'll add them all to my game and we can have like a little photo shoot because I feel like that would be really cute. So the next horse is Joey, who of course is a thoroughbred ex Warmblood. His owner is This Esme. His gender, he's also a gelding. And um, the This Esme channel has almost 800,000 subscribers, which is insane. We're going to leave it as Stallion because unfortunately we don't have a gelding option. None of this really matters. We'll change the name to Joey. 
Again, doesn't really matter for the stats, but for me, I just always scroll through and max them all. I don't know why, but it just makes me feel happy. So that's what I do. So for the appearance, maybe the mini dapples would work. Because in, in the picture that I have, he's very dark still. I don't think he's that dark anymore. But I think dapples wouldn't be a bad idea depending on how they show up on the coat. So I think I'll leave the pattern as dapples and I'll find like a gray coat that will fit. Now I'm thinking popcorn should have been this coat with the dapples. Tell me if I should have made popcorn that coat because now I'm like, now I'm regretting it. It's fine. We're looking for Joey now. Don't get distracted. Okay. Oh, we're getting closer too far. I mean, that's sort of close, but like it's, I mean, that's not bad. And the reason I say that is because I'm pretty sure in recent photos, he's quite light. Maybe not this light. Maybe I'll just have a really quick look at the other end of the spectrum and see if I can't find anything here. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna go with. I know it's not super accurate. I had a look at the other greys and I just don't think that they suit him enough. So I'm going to leave him as like a light dapple grey. As for his markings, it does appear that his two front legs are sparse and the same with his face, unless there's a marking that darkens because the picture I'm seeing, he has kind of like a darker patch on his forehead. I'm not sure if he has that anymore. So I might leave him without markings. I'm like, I'm wondering how old that photo is now because that kind of makes the biggest difference with greys because they lighten so much over time. We'll go ahead and just go with none. As for his front legs, he also has pretty much, it looks like no socks. Yeah, I'd say no socks. I will actually leave that white heel because it does look like in one of the photos he has a white heel. Some of them are not the greatest quality, so I can't see properly. But for his back legs, he does also appear to have pastons, I think. Yeah, half pastons on what looks like both. So I think that's what I'll put for both. Yeah, here. So we got the half pattern. <gasps> that doesn't look anything like Joey. Oh, that looks terrible. I mean, that's sort of close to the image, but like that is actually closer. The legs are a bit too dark. The legs are actually a lot dark, but in terms of the color spacing and the dapples, that actually looks better than the one I picked before. I'm not 100% happy with this, I will have to admit. But I think that's the closest we're going to get. So that's our Joey. Looking forward to seeing him in, in the actual game. Not thrilled about how that one came out, but that's fine because we've got a pretty easy one coming up next. Now, some of you will recognize this horse. This is Bear. She is a Welsh Section D. She's a mare, of course. And she's owned by Megan Elphick, who also goes by Elphick Event Ponies. And the channel has around 170,000 subscribers. So Bear is, I think, one one of the more iconic ponies on Elphic Eventing Ponies. So that's why I picked Bear today. We're gonna go ahead and change the name. Of course, a mare. Uh, again, this stuff doesn't really matter because they're not gonna be racing. Because I'm pretty sure none of the horses are X race horses anyway. So that's fine. I can just use them for cross country in the game. So that's quite nice. Her appearance. She is a lovely, lovely buckskin. Now looking at the photo, she has really, really, really light dapples, especially sort of on her neck that I'm seeing. Again, don't know how old that picture is, and dapples are scary. I might go cloudy dapples, because I can kind of see it on the neck. So now we've got to pick a lovely buckskin. Now I'm sure there's a buckskin because I've made spirit in the game before. Wait, I'm just realizing that the cloudy dapples are making them like lighter. Is this it? I can't tell. Oh, it is. So we'll have to not go with the cloudy dapples because it's actually, throwing the coat off a little bit. Maybe we could go with sparse dapples. Now, from what I can see, our lovely lady does not have any facial markings, so we shall keep it as such. Here we go. So her, it goes up a little bit above the half pastern. It's not quite there. Yeah, I'd say, okay, ankle, we'll go with ankle. The other front leg does seem to be pretty similar. I think I'll do ankle for this one as well. Now on her back left, she has none. Then on her back right, she has what looks like, it does that go up to her ankle? I think it does. It looks like it goes, yeah, actually that's not too bad. The major thing is obviously her tail is a lovely black and uh, this horse does not have a black tail. But now I'm thinking, is there a potentially a better coat for me to have chosen? Let's go find out. So there's that, which is a really, 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 really light 
buckskin, but that's not her. She's she's kind of in like a golden brown, which is lovely. So I think the things that I'm not happy with is, as I said, the tail and the coat is a little bit too light. She has kind of a really lovely golden like color to her coat. However, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. The muzzle's even kind of close. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So that is our lovely bear. We're gonna go ahead and save her. Our next horse, some of you may know, is Link. I don't actually know Link's breed. She probably has said it in a video before, but I failed to recall. His gender is a gelding. His owner, of course, is Raleigh, who owns the channel Raleigh Link. And the channel has over 320,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and make Link. Now he is a lovely dark chestnut and I think I know exactly the coat for him. That took longer than expected. <laughs> okay, right. So onto his appearance. Good, the pattern's on none. In the photo that I've got, he's like quite a bright red chestnut. He's always quite funny because I personally really like the kind of dull chestnuts, but he's like a, almost like a violent red chestnut and it's wonderful. I would go for that, but uh, because of the lighter muzzle, it just, it doesn't quite look like him. Definitely one of these two. I'm gonna opt for the darker one. It's definitely not the lighter one though. Now these are like orange horses. Cheeto horses. Yeah, that one actually. That one's perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Beautiful, like vibrant red. He has a really interesting uh, marking on his forehead. It's sort of like a disjointed like stripe. Let me see if there's anything like that. I really do hope that there is. I mean, that looks pretty pretty close. I'm gonna really quickly flip through and see if there's anything slightly closer. That one's really close. The only thing about this is from about like three quarters of the way down, his stripe is pretty consistent and a little bit wider. And there is actually a gap sort of between his eyes where his stripe breaks. So the hook isn't quite what I'm looking for. Yeah, Link is, Link is quite fun in this way because horses with very specific like facial markings, really fun to do because you get to pick the, the one that's closest. I think I'll go with, do I think? Actually, no, I've changed my mind. I won't go with that. Yeah, I think I'll go with this. It's not perfect, but honestly, it's close enough. Now, I am like a 70% sure he doesn't have socks. But then his feet look quite light. All right, I'm going to take a gamble and put... The really tiny, I think they're called coronets. Is that how you pronounce a coronet? I think I'll put that on his front legs. I really can't see properly, but it does look like they're lighter at the bottom. Now I'm thinking the back legs kind of look like it too. I think I'm gonna leave them though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave them. That looks pretty good. I mean, he was one of the more simple designs because he doesn't have like dapples and the color's actually quite close. But I'm happy with that. I think the one thing I might have messed up is the leg markings, but it's fine. It's fine. It's close enough. Right, so our next horse, some of you may not know, but his name is Banksy and he's an Oldenburg. His, I, I'm pretty sure he's still a stallion, which works out well for us. Um, and his owner is Shelby Dennis and the channel has 73,000 subscribers. So I'm pretty sure Shelby Dennis is one of the leaders in fighting back normalized training methods that aren't actually beneficial for the horse, which is amazing. I think she's like a big bitless advocate. She works with her horses on the ground a lot. I really like her stuff. I think she's a very good influence in the um, equestrian world, which is amazing. But she bred her horse. This is a homebred horse actually, Banksy. So let's go ahead and make him. I will also just quickly comment that I have had quite a few of these videos where I think I'm typing the name right and I'm absolutely not. So if that has happened in this video, feel free to yell at me. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it, obviously in post, but that's fine. So he is much, he's almost like a golden chestnut, if that's a thing. Actually, that looks like a golden chestnut. Okay, he's more of like a mix of chestnut. Really pretty color. Obviously his face marking kind of is his main sort of like noticeable feature. I'm pretty happy with the color. He is more of like an orangey horse than like the red chestnut that Link was. So um, for the head, this, this bit's really important because he has a really big facial marking and we've got to make sure that we get that right. If there is one that's kind of close and I have a feeling that there won't be. Cause I know that there's these bald faces, which aren't terrible. It's definitely not the bald head. Could be the bald focus. Obviously one kind of major thing is he has sort of like a very unique shaped facial marking that's really big. That's kind of close. 
broad blaze. That's kind of close. I've only got one side of him in one of the photos, but that's pretty close. I'm actually going to leave that as a broad blaze. I think that's right. It could be a bit bigger, I think, at the bottom because his muzzle is quite almost engulfed in the white. But that's fine. For his socks, let me get... Okay, so that's his left. So he's got... He's got like a white marking on like his elbow, like halfway up. Unfortunately, that's not a thing. So if that's the left, I'm just going to have to leave it as nothing because I can't get that elbow one. But for this one, he definitely has... Gosh, his markings are really irregular. I'd say a full sock, even though the front's like missing. It's fine. We'll go with full sock. And for this, these back legs, his sock goes up really high. Not high, high sock, high but a bit higher than a full sock. I don't know if we're gonna get one. No, we're just gonna have to go with full sock then. That's quite a shame. Because it doesn't go up to his thigh. It literally goes up right to his, like, knees. This is definitely not correct horse terminology, but that's fine. Now that I'm looking at him, I'm like, is that coat color right? I'm gonna have a quick scroll through and see if I see anything I like. Yeah, this is the closest. It's not perfect, but it is the closest out of all of the coat colors that I can pick. So. There is our beautiful Banksy. He was actually quite a lot of fun to do. So we'll go ahead and save him. Yes, upload. So our next one is quite a little bit of a sad story. This is Holly. Holly is a thoroughbred. She's a mare and her former owner was Justine Palmer. Now, um, Justine does not own Holly anymore. Unfortunately, she had to sell her. But as a tribute to her, I've actually done a video with Justine Palmer on my channel before. She's a wonderful person. So this is for you, Justine. We're gonna go ahead and make Holly in rival stars so first of all change the name i actually have uh one of the merch that says holly jolly christmas i'm pretty sure don't know where it's gone it's there somewhere though right okay so she's got no pattern now i this is really strange but getting bays in rival stars is actually like the correct type of bay is actually a bit awkward so i'm gonna have a quick flick through pretty much all of them actually that's pretty close she's slightly lighter but not in the face so I might go ahead and go with this. I think this is decently close. Okay. She also has actually a strange head marking. She's got like a tiny, tiny little star and a snip as well. That's kind of big. I don't think that there's one quite like hers. If not, I might just focus on the little snip. Yeah, see that snip is about right, but hers kind of like goes off to the side. It's a bit wonky. And unfortunately there isn't really one that pairs with the star, which is quite sad. I mean, that's kind of close. It just, it doesn't have the middle bit. Yeah, it's not quite right. That's fine. I think we can focus on the snip. So I'll just do the long snip here. Now her, both front legs are plain. However, she's quite cute and she has, what is that? Left? Yes, her back left leg has, what would it be? An ankle? Yeah, it would be about an ankle sock so she's adorable i'm not totally convinced with that color i wish that there was like a mix between these two i know that's really pernickety because we have so many bays already but bays are just really hard to get right yeah so i think the two closest are probably these two looking at it actually i've changed my mind i'll go for the lighter bay not entirely sure why but i think i'm gonna go with the lighter bay now i have to agree holly has a really sweet face and we can't see this horse kind of face on like we can in the photo that i can see but i'm pretty happy with that she was an easy gal to do and she's sweet and we will forever love holly even if she's not justine's anymore now this next horse i think is quite famous his name is emporio i'm pretty sure he's a purebred spanish horse might be wrong there, sorry. He's a stallion. His owner is Matt Harnicky. Now, Matt is uh, not just a male equestrian. He's a model as well. He's a horse trainer. And uh, his channel has over 450,000 subscribers. And I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but he's one of the most well-known male equestrians in the social media space. So, big up. We're going to go ahead and make his emporio. So, there we go. Now, I reckon he's going to be a little bit tricky to do because we've got another grey horse. <laughs> so, we're going to have to kind of figure out what we want to do for that i think straight out of the gate i've got to choose a dapple he's definitely dappled he's a lovely dapply dapply lad i'm not sure between splash dapples or sparse dapples and i think for the time being i'll go with splash dapples so now we've got to pick his coat color which is going to be a nightmare for me to do but i'll do it the horse looks so weird with the with the pink muzzle I think that's sort of close. It's definitely not dark enough, but that's the one we use for Joey. I'm like 90% sure. Actually, I think 
Oh my gosh, it was. It was the head marking that was causing the pink nose, so I need to get rid of that. I'm pretty sure he has no face marking, so I'm just gonna go... I'll just give him a faint star, just in case. I don't know. I don't know his horse well enough. Oh, actually, these are much better. These are much, much better. It's between these two. I think he's quite a lot darker, so I'll go with this one. Wow, there's quite a big difference there. I think that's a little bit too dapply. I mean, that was just called dapples. I mean, actually, that's not bad. I might have to just give him the dapples. The picture I have has a rug on, so I can't see perfectly well. I'm just gonna leave that. Now, it does appear that, from what I can see, three legs have none, and then his back left has a tiny little coronet on it. So I'll just get rid of this one. It's the left one we want. So it looks like it has actually maybe a pastern, probably a pastern. Oh, I'm not super happy with that one. The greys are really hard to get right because they look very distinct and especially in the face. Gorgeous horse. I don't think I've done a great job with him. I'm not totally happy, but that's fine. Here is our Emporio from Matt Harnicky. Tell me what I could have done better because I'm not I'm not sold on that one, so we're gonna go ahead and save. And our last horse is actually from a YouTuber I've gotten into watching recently. She's a lovely person. We're doing the horse Trigger. Uh, his breed is a Morgan. He is a gelding, and the owner is Stephanie Morato. Now, I know she's not an equestrian YouTuber, and she does, like, more farm life kind of things, but she does have a lot of horses, so... That's why I'm going to count her today. Her channel has around 330,000 subscribers. I'm pretty sure Trigger was like her original horse as well. So we're going back to our roots. Now Trigger is a little bit awkward because he is sort of like a dull chestnut in the nicest way possible, of course. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a headache to try and find stuff for him. Okay, I have genuinely looked through all of the coats at least twice and I cannot find anything that looks like Trigger. So I might have to go with like one of these, which I'm not happy at. Now, Link was this one. So I think we have to go with this one. This one, I think I'm the least happy with. This is terrible. Now he does have a really beautiful stripe or blaze. Yeah, stripe snip. He doesn't appear to have anything other than a tiny little coronet on his left leg. We'll get rid of anything on the white. Same with the back left he actually has yeah an irregular sock now i can't really see the back right so i'm gonna leave it as none i'm so sad that i ended on this horse because i feel like this one was the most disappointing oh that's so sucky okay i'm gonna actually choose this coat really sad that i can't get this color right he's a really lovely looking horse. He's like, is that a flaxen chestnut? I'm pretty sure that is a flaxen chestnut. Oh, I'm really disappointed now. That's fine. We're going to have to go with this. Um, I don't think I did that one well at all, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and save. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly biff all these horses into my stable and uh, we can have a look at them in the actual game. Whose name got censored? Holly Banksy something bear? Link? For why? That's so weird. That's really strange. All righty. So we've got the horses in the stable now. And we're going to have a look at them. I'm pretty sure in backwards order. So here we've got Trigger. The one that I was least happy with. Uh, then we have Emporio. Which didn't come out too badly. Now that I'm looking at it. He does have quite a dark coat. But it's close. It's not too bad. Holly I think was pretty accurate. I'm pretty happy with her. Banksy I'm really happy with actually. He came out pretty spot on also i don't know why but link's name got blocked i don't know why though I, I don't know why i think link was pretty good as well i'm happy with his facial marking then we have bear bear was pretty decent again still a little bit too light for my taste and of course the tail is blonde when it's supposed to be black but that's fine joey <laughs> looking at joey now i'm like oh my god wait oh my god joey is exactly the same as emporio Oops, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Um, okay, Joey, I think I'm, le I'm like, like second least happy with. Uh, he doesn't look great. Maybe I should have gone for someone easier like Casper or, or Mickey. Joey was a bit of a struggle for me. And of course, back to our roots is Popcorn. Popcorn looks great. Definitely could be a bit darker though. That's the only thing. So there are all the horses. And of course we can see them in the stable as well. So yeah, let me know if you think it's kind of strange to breed with other people's horses in a video game, or if you think that's totally fine. I think I'm pretty happy with the way that I made them all. Let me know who you think I did the best and who you think I did the worst. But so, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!